Now, if you've been on the internet lately, I know you've seen this trend recently. A magica is a transition that uses elements from the previous scene to seamlessly flow into the next scene. Now, you could be using anything. You could use audio, you could use different graphics, certain cutouts. Why are people using match cuts and things like that? The goal is to create a visual match between different scenes that aren't necessarily like connected, such as scenes set in different locations. Now that we got that all the way, what's going on YouTube? It's Ali Dope checking in once again with another dope youtube video and in today's video i'm gonna use my years of video editing experience to create this effect in photoshop and premiere pro i have collected over 70 images yes 70 images to create this effect when i first initially thought about it i was like this is an amazing idea i love the look i love having to be able to create motion in some sort of video from photos once again when you're creating for brands and stuff like that they don't always have videos and stuff like that but they have a bank of photos that you can use so you have to get creative using motion design and motion graphics to create these elements now not only are we doing the match cut that you see in the video we're not going to do it exactly like that because only they know how they created this effect but we will take the amazing idea that they gave us inspired it and take it to the next level but first we're going to have to hop into photoshop and start organizing and setting up all these images to the guy without further ado man all this chit chat patty whack let's get in this computer let's get it the first thing you're gonna want to do is grab all of your images and put them i just put them in photoshop so i can go ahead and align everything to the guide i try to pick a center point it either could be the head it could be the basketball it could be the shoes it could be the jersey number anything you just want to pick a central focus for when you're adding these into photoshop so i made a grid horizontal and vertical and then i created this square box because i know i kind of wanted his head to go in the box and that to be the central focus so i just made the box where i wanted to align all of the pictures to that same spot and then i ended up taking a screenshot of the guide and then adding that into premiere but we'll get into that a little bit later so now after you have your guide all you're going to want to do is take all of the images that you see and align it like i keep saying align it to the guide so if it's the basketball is the jersey number is a body part just make sure you align all of those images to that spot so then after i align all the images to that spot that was pretty much done the next hardest part is creating folders for each motion so i had um different motion for him getting ready to gather to take the shot at the top of his head at the top of the release and then releasing the ball and then I also have the follow through when you leave your hand up. And then I left when he did Dame time. So pretty much that's what really took the longest amount of time out of everything. And which the most tedious task because I had to keep switching on images, switching off images to see if it aligned for what I was trying to do. So after you do that, you're going to want to go ahead and save your PSD. And then since it's already aligned, this is another reason why I say you start in Photoshop. You're going to import that PSD into Premiere Pro or your preferred editing tool. I prefer Premiere Pro because I just know how it works. So you're going to take that the PSD file in Premiere Pro. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take all those images and take the speed and duration and put it around somewhere like 0 0.3, 0 0.2, something that's real quick just because you kind of want fast motion. So this is kind of what they mean by frames per second. But pretty much after you do that, you're going to grab all those images that you just changed the speed and duration for and then drop those into the timeline. And then the, when you drop them into the timeline, they'll literally be align exactly where you had them um when you did it in photoshop so that's why we go ahead and align all of them in photoshop it just makes for easy editing to be honest next after that i had to go ahead and start cropping some of the images each image is sized differently so i just went ahead and literally created a crop for each one of them i just copied and pasted it and moved it to where i needed it to move and then pretty much that's it that's going to give you pretty much your your motion and your your actual video per se because now it has motion in it but the last thing i would do um i had to add my finishing touches some effects i didn't go too crazy with this i only added some overlays from my animated overlay pack 
that you can get down link in the description i use the photocopy just to give it like a older photo feel and i use the paper textures just so the background has some um different type of energy lastly what i did uh to add some of these effects that i guess everybody really wants is the actual threshold and then the noise effect to give it that like gritty grungy type of vibe the first things first is i went ahead and added a black and white effect on there i also added noise without color i added rgb curves on there as well to give it that threshold feel is literally just throw threshold on there as well i threw all those effects on the adjustment layer so it affects all of the images the same i didn't want to do too much uh crazy adjusting or anything like that also i just added in the dame logo from adidas all i did was go to envato elements where you can find your subscription as well i definitely would advise it um it's helped me a lot with projects to move projects faster along or if i just want to see and try certain things so for me this was a see and try type of so i just want to see if the idea would even work that's why i use this drag and drop mogart yeah i really try to keep it as short and sweet as possible i didn't want to spend too much time on this like i said it was just a concept um i think i'm going to do this one again once again if you make something cool too send that in the discord the discord is uh in the chat as well so we'll look forward to seeing that. 2024 Kobe Bryant MVP trophy goes to Damian Lillard. Now, once again, I hope this helped you in some sort of way, shape, or form. And I hope you take some of these ideas and use it on your next project. Please comment down below if you know different ways that you can use this effect or that you would like to see me use it and teach you guys. And in the meantime, between, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss a drop won't want you to miss out and once again y'all if you want to holla at me holla at me in the discord we updating it I'm, I'm building the community up over there so the more of you guys the merrier i definitely appreciate you guys tapping in i appreciate y'all when y'all watch if you haven't already like this video for the kid yes sir shout out to youtube and algorithm but they just want to know if you liking it and i gotta know if you like it so i can make more videos like this or i should xnay on that but anyways in the meantime in between time y'all already know what it is keep hustling keep creating and most importantly keep learning i'm ollie dope and i'm checking out yes sir